Hey everybody, it's Sandra Deluxe and I'm doing a little video today on skin for big events, photography. I know that prom season is coming up. I know that wedding season is coming up. I'm gonna show you how to do your skin for photography for big events. With that being said, I'm gonna scale everything back a little bit. One thing I like to do um, before anything is exfoliate about three days before your event. It gives your skin a chance to kind of reset and getting rid of that first layer does wonders. Well, I've got the Gleam by Melanie Mills Body Radiance Rose Gold. So this is the Rose Gold. I'm mixing it with my moisturizer, Studio Moisture Cream. And this is just my before makeup moisturizer. The sheen in it is actually gonna help to reflect the light. And this will give you a glow without an oily look. When choosing your foundation color for photography or for events, you want to have something that's not going to reflect a funny color. For myself, because I'm going a little bit darker, I'm also going warmer. If you are, you know, more of pinky undertone or fair skin, you might want to go a little bit cooler and go a little bit darker. But you want to make sure that you're balancing it out with concealer so that your lighter parts match and your darker parts act like more of a shadow. Probably just going to end up using my fingers, but... I like to use a brush kind of like this. Basically, it's a dual fiber brush, so it's got one part that'll help you to smooth the product on the top, and the natural hair part is the black part. So that'll help to buff it in. So I like to start in the center of where you want the most product, which is typically the center of the face, and blend it outwards to the outer part. My ear looks pretty white, so why not? I'm just going to darken it a little there. I want my face to match kind of this color a little bit more, the darker bits of me. So I'm going a little darker. My face just does not tan for whatever reason. If you want to add more products, start again where you want the most, which is in the center, and blend it out that way. And the reason why I do that is because I don't want to focus on blending, you know, a bunch of foundation from here all the way across my face. I'd rather do it start here so I have room to move it upwards, downwards, sideways, upside down. Same thing if I were to use my fingers, I'm going to take the rest of what's on my hand and start in the center and blend it outwards. I like to go on my eyelids too just because a lot of times on eyelids like the veins could be showing or it's red or it's cooler and I just want it to match with everything. I don't want to have red veiny eyelids and like flawless skin everywhere else so that's why I apply it everywhere and these are those things to think about when you're doing your makeup like what makes a makeup you know really amazing is not so much how well you're focusing on one area but looking at everything as a whole and paying attention to those really fine details like did you get this area did you get these areas did you were you thorough were you blending everything the uh, Anastasia concealer in 4.0. I like to use a concealer that's pretty close to my skin color and then one that's way too light to highlight with. So I'm just doing little circles and buffing it around everywhere. I like to use layers so this is almost like a transition color for our lighter tone. Do a little around the mouth as well just because it's a little bit of a different color there for me. And using a brush is nice sometimes because you can use very little product. Just getting anything that the foundation missed. So a lot of times with really flawless makeup, you don't need full coverage, you know, wall to wall. You only need it kind of in the center of your face. And it can still look natural that way. Like I'm pretty sure you don't need full coverage foundation right here. NW25 Studio Finish Concealer. So for under the eyes, you want to look at what color you have under there. If you're more red under the eyes, you might want to try something more yellowy. If you're more, you've got really dark under the eyes, you might want to do something really dark and more orange, like NW40, NW45, you know, around the mouth or underneath the eyes. So something closer to your skin color, but might color correct a little bit. That way, when you apply something like this, it's not, uh, it doesn't go ashy, or it doesn't go pink. Or does it not cover properly? Because this is like quite a bit lighter than my skin tone. Now I can go in with something like this and highlight and it's not going to reflect funny. So I'm just giving it a little tap because uh, it helps it to blend. 
I probably put a little bit too much foundation on my on my brush. Right down the center of my nose. This isn't so much to change the shape of your face, but to just bring forward what's already there. I think a lot of times with contouring and stuff, we try to focus on making us look completely different and we don't necessarily want that. We just want to bring forward the areas that are already forward. We're just bending the light so that it follows us around. Anywhere that naturally comes forward or goes up is where you're highlighting. And if it doesn't and you do want it to or if you want it to more then you just highlight it. with medium plus mineralized skin finish. I'm going to dust it just in the T-zone, so the areas that we kind of highlighted. And the reason why I'm using medium plus is because it's got a little bit of a pink undertone, so it's not going to reflect ash on my skin tone. To keep it nice and sheer, I'm going to use a very, very big fluffy brush and just lightly dust it. So I'm not going to pick up very much. I'm just going to go right on top, barely touching. And just kind of setting everything. The reason why I'm not doing like uh, something really thick because sometimes that can reflect a little bit white. When you take this color, you add it to something that's wet, it'll naturally darken. So I'm gonna put the powder there. And as you can see, it doesn't look that dark, but because it's heating up to the warmth of my skin or the oil of my skin, it's almost neutralizing to the same color. I wouldn't go ahead and use that as like a powder for my whole face but because it's nice and light it'll keep my highlight looking like a highlight and this is just to absorb any extra oil if you're really oily you might want to put a little bit more so oily skin tends to make things darker and I'm going to very lightly use this to bronze my face and I'm because it's so big I can use it to kind of roll it into the hollows of my cheeks without kind of sculpting. Sculpting, I don't want to do too harsh of a contour because I know my bronzing is very intense. I'm keeping it a little light this time. All over, just a light bronzing. For a little extra twinkle, I'm going to use the Diamond Glow Powder by um, Mac Daddy or Artist Couture on the higher points of my face, down the center of my nose, top, top, across the top lip, other side, just really lightly all over so you have a little bit of a twinkle to yourself, but it's not going to take flash and reflect funny. So right now I feel like we have a really beautiful fresh face, the skin is kind of natural, photographed extremely well, hope you enjoy it, and uh, thank you so much for watching, don't forget to share, subscribe, and follow, keep an eye out for my other prom and wedding day videos that will be up shortly and love yourself and stay pretty and enjoy your fresh skin.